This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging on yet another video review today, this time taking a look at an application that's very squarely in the puzzler uh, genre for iOS, including the iPhone. Uh, which is what we've got going on here, and the app in question is called Evo Cortex. This is available for free in the App Store, though it is supported by ads, um, and you can remove those ads actually for a solid 99 cents, so uh, not a bad bargain there. Uh, we'll see if this pops up, and we'll give you the exact price on this. Here you go, so there are a few extra you know, uh, additional in-app purchases to consider, but like we said, uh, free app is the main point there. So Evo Cortex is, is available for free in the App Store, and this is very solidly a puzzler for the iPhone. Uh, how this game works, uh, to give a brief introduction, well first let's show you the options. Of course there's a very nice musical soundtrack that we're not actually going to show you, uh, because it's easier to hear me that way and we're kind of narcissistic in that sense. Uh, but there are sound effects as well, and an auto lock which you can turn on or off. This, uh, of course, refers to the uh, the iPhone's uh, natural auto lock, which you can turn off, so as to uh, increase your gameplay experience. Evo Cortex is essentially a collection of various mini games, but it's so much more than that. Actually, you have these six different modes, is a good way to put it, as well as these continuously tracked high score meters, which we'll talk about more in just a second. But in the long run, each of these modes offers the same basic form of experience, only with slightly different rules and slightly different amounts of fun. We like certain ones of these better than we did others. Uh, we especially like the Rune one, if you can't tell by our high score. We played this one a lot more. And of course, you can hit a new game at any point, or you can simply resume if you're playing an old one. So we're going to hit new, obviously, and then jump straight into this. As you notice, the graphics themselves are fantastic. We love the design of this app, you know, as a bit of a graphic designing influence in our stock. You know, we very much enjoyed the uh, app for that fact. The colors are nice, the textures are even better, and the typography is excellent. So we have to tip our hats to the developers there, and that's all we'll say about that. So in this particular instance, to give an example, you're shown a, a list of letters, which I'm not going to be able to remember because I'm doing a video review, uh, but I will try my best. And so once you've, uh, or either the time runs out or you've had enough time, you simply hit this, and then you're given three different questions about the letters. Uh, the first three letters, I think, were C and S. You hit it again, and then it tells you if it was correct or not. You do have to get two out of three of these questions correctly um, to actually progress through the game to go on to the next level, that is. If you uh, don't, it will give you a game over, and you have to try again. So we're going to do that. Uh, see, I screwed up there, so it gave me a sorry. And then once that's completed, you're given a time bonus, or a, a correctness bonus as well, and a total score, which is then added to your even further total score. That meaning, uh, what I was at uh, 5,300 something earlier, now I'm at a, a, a slightly higher score. Uh, we did find, uh, well, there it is, the menu button, okay. Sorry about that, guys. And then uh, back to the other gameplay elements. So that's basically the format that's offered here. You're given a string of somethings to memorize. So this is a memorization-based puzzle game. And then you're given three questions about it. Uh, typically, these are uh, you know varying from that sort of question that we just saw about what came first, what was in the middle, what was third, to uh, you know logically which one of these does not fit, and uh, various other things. And the game is actually extremely hard. Uh, we had quite a lot of trouble with some of these. If you're into memorization games and you're quite good at memorizing things, you may not find this as big of a challenge. We tend to have pretty terrible memories. Uh, so except for the things like runes, which deal with letters that we deal with all day long as writers, uh, that was a little bit easier. But other elements, like this color game, were actually extremely hard. So if you like a challenge, this is the app for you. We're going to go ahead and show you the color one just to give you an example of yet another style of gameplay. In this case, you're tasked with memorizing the colors in the words, which are in fact separate. If you've seen these before, you know how aggravating they are. So obviously indigo is yellow, so you have to remember that indigo was yellow, blue was red, and violet was, uh, it kind of looks violet to me actually that time. Uh, but then it will give you questions about it. So what was the first color? I don't remember is the thing. So if you're uh, good at these things, well, I got that one right. If you're good at these, this may not be as big of a, uh, of a deal. But uh, for us, it was actually quite hard, which isn't a bad thing at all. We aren't complaining. We very much enjoyed the uh, the challenge of this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get through this. I guess, actually, this app reminds us a lot of the font game. If any of you guys happen to know the font game, the look and design of this actually reminded us a lot of that. So that's essentially the gameplay offered here. You've got six different modes as well as game center integration, so you can check how your leaderboard uh, points stack up with everybody else's, do that uh, kind of uh, you know ruler measurement there. Uh, likewise, there are achievements and other things to grab, 
including the in-app purchases, you know, there's a lot of value encased in this application, not to mention the fact that it is free in the App Store, which is a tremendous boon to start with. So at the end of the day, we're going to give Evo Cortex a very solid 4 out of 5 stars. We very much enjoyed the game, and if you're into puzzling apps for the iPhone, this is a great place to go. Uh, this would easily fill up any uh, any amount of time in the queue or, say, on your morning commute. It's a great way to, uh, you know, fill up the space, especially if you're into puzzling. The graphics are great. The interface is even better. This app is amazingly gorgeous, and best of all, it's free. So no complaints there. All in all, Evo Cortex get a, gets a, a 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com, as well as our recommendation for anyone who's a fan of puzzling. And that's all we have to say about it, so at this point I'm just going to encourage you guys to go check out the other videos that are on our YouTube channel. If you want to hear my voice and see some awesome apps, that is the place to go. But other than that, we have nothing else to add, so we're going to go ahead and sign out. But we'll see you guys later. Bye.